Hi, Scott from Invictus Active. I've got the freewheel instructions in front of me here, which you'll find in the box with the freewheel. Just going to highlight some of the key steps that you need to um, be aware of to ensure that the freewheel is set up correctly. So first, if you come to step one, this is determine whether you need the cup shim. So at the front of the freewheel, you'll see the clamp, which goes on the front tube of your footrest. And it's whether you need to remove or keep the cup shim in place. So if you have a look at these three images, see which one is resembles your footrest. That determines whether you need to remove the shim um, on the cup shim. The next step is whether you need the straight shim um, and whether you need the thick, medium or thin. Again, it de depends on your footrest type. Um, if you've got no plate, then you need the thick shim. If you have a plate, then you need the thinnest or the medium, depending on the thickness of your plate. And if you've got a, a clamp plate like this, then you need no straight shim. You then come to step three, which is around angle adjustment of the front casters. Our advice is to go to step four first, um, which is determining whether you need the long or the short rear end. Now in the box, you'll have a bag of parts, which will include two rear ends, short and long and the thickness of the shims the thin medium and thick shim what you then need to do is go to your footrest and measure from the back to the front of the tube so from the outside of the tube to the outside of the tube front and back, so the depth of your footrest, that then determines whether you need the short or the long rear end. Now it's in inches, so if it's four to five inches, you need to use the short. If it's five to six and three eighths, then you need the long. Then what you need to do is determine whether you need the thin, medium or thick shim, as per here and cut that shim to the measurement that you've just taken, which is the depth of your footrest. You then slide it in the back of the freewheel and be careful when you are sliding it in, you'll see a groove either side. So here, either side is a groove that goes all the way down which takes this thin, medium or thick shim. Be careful when you're sliding it into the freewheel um, because it, it can maybe catch if you don't get it in completely square. So be very careful and slowly push the um, shim into the freewheel. Then you need to use either the short or the long rear end, depending on what that length or that depth of the um, footrest is and then you get the allen key which is supplied and you tighten this rear end into what they call the brick of the freewheel now you'll notice that on the end of this rear end is some blue lock nut and that is intentional so that this does not come loose after this initial setup because once you've done this initial setup once you don't need to do this ongoing the freewheel then just simply clamps on and off to your footrest so when you are tightening this allen key up initially you may find it to be stiff so you'll put the allen key in you'll tighten it and you're tightening it against the shim so you're tightening it all the way in so that it touches the shim, which is then the depth of your footrest. You may find it tight because you've got to get past this lock nut. So what you may actually need to do when you're tightening this by hand is use um, a spanner or a pair of pliers to give you some extra force 
on this allen key when you're turning it um so that you can get it all the way in it does feel as though maybe that you're cross threading it but you're not you're just getting past this lock nut in order to get this tight then you can move on to step three so the free wheel should be out in front when it's clamped and touching the floor because it's the way that the free wheel is designed it's when this wheel comes back into its proper position which is here that's the clever bit that brings the caster wheels off the floor so it's the the angle of this here is what bring when you bring the wheel back in that's what makes the wheels come off the floor to cast a cast a wheel so a b and c is what's needed to adjust that so you if you follow the instructions here and adjust a b and c so that when you fit the free wheel in the tail position this touches the floor um so be careful when you're undoing these bolts here and ensure that the allen key is pushed in because they may slip when you're undoing them and damage the allen key or damage the bolt itself so be careful when you're undoing a b and c um, and push the allen key in to make sure that it's properly inserted into the bolt so that it doesn't slip um, and damage the the bolt head You've then got the, um, the perch set up, which goes on your rear rear of your backrest in order to fit the free wheel to when you haven't got it on the front. And then you can adjust the steering um, in terms of how stiff or easy it is to turn. But those are the essential steps um, in order to get it set up correctly. If you want to take a photo when you've got it set up on your chair and email that over to us we'll take a look over and ensure everything is as it should be you do also need to make sure that the tire is inflated the tire may not come inflated so a normal bike pump um, and just inflate the tire to so that it's fully inflated because that will have an impact on the caster wheels so if you imagine once your weight is in the wheelchair, if this tire is flat, then when it's in its position here, the caster wheels are not going to be off the floor as much as they could be or should be if the tire is flat. So do ensure that you inflate the tire or you check the tire to make sure that it is inflated. So hopefully that helps. Any advice that you need, let us know. Um, and we look forward to your free wheel being set up. Thank you.